It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in today's video, I want to talk about Shore of Madness, the Halloween event on Hero Wars Mobile for 2020. Now, there are three basic things happening. Uh, even though this lobby is quite extravagant and things are swimming all over the place and, you know, apparently we're underwater now, but there are three things that are happening in this event. And I want to talk about each of them in turn. First of all, buyable bundles, these new, uh, these new purchasable items, there are six of them and these are going to rotate in, uh, in a little over a day. So Tuesday evening, roughly 48 hours from now. These bundles are going to go away and the Emerald Sale is going to come upon us. So uh, buy these bundles now uh, or you'll never see them again uh, after Tuesday evening. Whoops, too many clicks there. We have the Shore of Madness event uh, and it is a seven day event. Now, these seven tasks, some of them are repeatable, which means once you complete the entire list of tasks on that, that particular tab, it resets and you can do them again. Uh, so it's kind of hard to count, but what you're trying to get are these ancient scrolls. And the ancient scrolls are what you use to fight the campaign missions and the boss fight in the Shore of Madness adventure map, which I'll show you in just a second. So we have spend emeralds, we have uh, spend energy, 4,000 energy, but of course it resets. We have win battles in Outland. This is not um, this is not uh, open uh, Outland chest. This is win battles. We have sharing the loot. This is fight in arena and grand arena. Uh, we have collect soul stones of any hero. Okay, 300, but it's repeatable. We have Fresh Wind, which is promoting the new hero Yasmin to orange rank. And then we have Guiding Lighthouse, which is log in seven times. And the cool thing about this particular task is this is where you're going to get the two avatars, the little uh, shark villager, uh, the sad shark villager, and the serpent avatar frame. Kind of cool there. Now, all of those all of those scrolls are used to fight the boss. But um, we have the uh, this uh, this portal here that takes us into the adventure map or the uh, the event map, and there's a little bit of a story to it. I'm not going to spend too much time reading through the story or anything like that. If you want to check it out, absolutely go check it out. But it's pretty straightforward. Um, effectively, what's happening here is a nice little storyline having to do with Cthulhu, which who's a, a mind controlling. Uh, giant sea monster Yasmin, who is the new hero, which I've done plenty of videos about Yasmin, and uh, and and you know the the events surrounding all of that. Before we get into this little campaign thing, I want to bring your attention to a couple of things on the map. Right here, we have Yasmin coins. This is the event currency. This is what you're going to collect to go into the merchant to buy things. All right, we have whoops. We have the ancient scrolls. You need ancient scrolls to perform missions in the campaign in uh, to fight the boss, which you'll see as we advance the storyline here. Uh, we have this little icon right here. This is a free 12 scrolls. Just click it. All right, claim it. That's it. That's all you got to do. In two hours, it'll pop back up again. Uh, I'm not sure what the next cooldown is going to be, but make sure you continue to click on that. We have quests right here, and this is taking the place of those swords that are sticking in the ground in previous events. And basically what these are, these are small little tasks that are relatively easy to do. Uh, you perform these tasks, you get one of these ancient scrolls. Uh, and um, you're going to be able to earn six to seven ancient scrolls per day. I believe this will reset every day. In the past, it is reset every day. We're not sure yet if it's going to reset every day. Of course, check it tomorrow. <laughs> It'll be back or it won't. Who knows? But then you just kind of jump into the storyline. And as you work through it, you're going to fight, uh, you know, you're going to fight this um, this boss. And this is Yasmin. She's going to be the same team level as your team level. I'm sorry. She's going to be the same level as your team level. So just, you know, fight her with your best team. There we go. You know, just fight her like you would anything else. Fight her however you want to fight her. Take, you know, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This fight is pretty straightforward and, and, and very easy to do. And this is when you collect one star Yasmin. All right, you collect some skin stones, you collect some of the, uh, collect some of the Yasmin coins, uh, you get a one-star Yasmin, and away you go. Then you talk to her. Basically, she tells you that she's been under mind control. That's why she attacked you. Um, and then you kind of work your way through it. Check out the, uh, the storyline. This is a fantastic storyline, in my opinion. But we're going to go ahead and 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue the fight here, uh, and then we're going to come back to it in just a second. So there at the end of the first fight, we collect a little bit more skin stones, a little bit more of the Yasmin coins. Uh, we have another fight here. It costs a couple of more scrolls. Uh, you know, just grab the grab the members of your team. Go ahead and fight this fight, and then we'll move on to Lord Karkthulu. Now, as you can see, we get a couple more skin stones, some more of these Yasmin coins, uh, and then here we are. Did you think you came here of your own free will? The will was mine. From now on, only my will matters. Excuse me, Karkthulu. I'm trying to record a YouTube video here. I don't have enough scrolls to fight him just yet. I only have two. So I'm going to back out and perform a couple of these tasks. First, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to jump in here and do a couple of them back out. Grab that. Thank you. No worries. Spend Outland coins. Um, you know, we're going to buy. I hate to spend the Outland coins on this, but we're just going to go ahead and spin them there. Uh, complete that. Thank you. Uh, use Emerald Exchange. No big deal. Spend in the 20 Emeralds. I don't even care. Thank you. Um, and then uh, we'll go ahead and collect a couple of the event tasks here. We will let's see Shore of Madness. Go ahead and log in. There we go. And there is six. Let's jump back over and fight Lord Karkthulu. And I'm calling him Karkthulu. And I'll show you why whenever it loads up here. Let me throw my heroes uh, back in. We're not going to use this. We're going to do um, these guys. So Lord Karkthulu. This, um, this boss is called Lord, right? <laughs> but it's a reference to Lord Cthulhu, who is a sea monster. And this is quite clearly a Kark reskin. And this is actually a fun fact. Uh, Cthulhu, not Cthulhu, Kark was one of the four Outland bosses. One of the four Outland bosses that you fight uh, in the story. But he decided to help the heroes of Dominion instead of harming them. Okay, Judge actually convinced him to help instead of you know taking over Dominion. So, uh, fun story there. Uh, collect some more skin stones, collect some more coins, and uh, now you can see that we have another boss here. But first, we have this. Well, now you seem powerful enough to become my generals. With serving uh, uh, with you serving as my hands, I shall wreak havoc across, I'm sorry, wreak chaos across the dominion, yada, 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 yada. Um, we have 23 hours and 19 minutes to fight him again, and you can see it does take six more scrolls. And then you have this other boss here. A new enemy will arrive when the previous one flees. This tells me two things. First of all, uh, we don't know yet what the next boss is going to provide as far as a reward. We can see here that um, Kark Cthulhu, Lord, Lord Cthulhu, Lord Kark Cthulhu <laughs> is going to provide us a random set of skin stones plus some of these Yasmin coins currency. We don't know what the second boss is going to provide. We don't even know what the second boss is. Actually, you know what? This is actually timed with tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. I bet that's what it is. This isn't 24 hours from when you defeat the boss. The unlocking of the second boss isn't based on when you kill the first boss or the third or whatever. It's Every day the new boss is unlocked. So finally, what do you do with these Yasmin coins? All right. So you go into, you click on Yasmin here, go to Merchant, and you can buy all kinds of stuff here. All kinds of items to promote your heroes. Uh, you'll notice that all of these items are items that Yasmin will use to promote from uh, from a gray all the way up to orange plus four. Um, you can spend 2,000 to buy a two-star Yasmin all the way up to a five-star Yasmin. Probably a six-star Yasmin as well after that's all said and done. You can buy Morgan's Devil Skin, which is a health skin. You can buy Sebastian's Devil Skin, which is a magic defense skin. And you can buy the Sunken Chest. The Sunken Chest has a lot of fun stuff in it, but this is how you get Corvus's Devil Skin, which is physical attack. Um, not personally a big fan of these skins. I think that the Morgan Health Skin is the better of the three, but there are some good rewards in this. Um, so the choice is yours. Do you chase Yasmin? Do you chase Devil Skin? for these three or do you dump all of your yasmin coins into the sunken chests to get all kinds of sparks of power uh energy uh titan xp potions etc etc all kinds of options here um, i know a lot of people are planning on buying items just to promote their heroes because they're not a fan of yasmin or they're not a fan of these three heroes so the decision is really up to you i'm not sure what i'm going to do i actually play uh hero wars mobile across three accounts so it's kind of it's kind of crazy there. But if you want to cheat, and I know some of you out there are, you can go to the, let's see, where is the 
merchant here. There's a merchant to actually get. No, it's not here. Is it this guy? Oh, here it is. Here it is. You can buy Yasmin coins with emeralds. All right. So we have to do some math on whether or not this is worth um, compared to doing the events. I'm not sure if it is or not. Um, there is there is going to be a conversion right there between spinning emeralds on you know arena and fighting outland and you know that kind of stuff buying energy to get you know to spend inner i'm sorry buying energy with emeralds to complete campaign missions to get this spend energy requirement on the on the event tab uh, versus doing this and this is going to be the least efficient way to do it but it's going to be the fastest way so people are going to um people are going to spend a lot of money to get yasmin up to five six stars immediately they're going to do it to get all the skins immediately um, if you're a pay to win player this is the fastest route this is going to be absolutely the fastest route buying emeralds right and then spending them here so that has been everything there is to know so far day one shore of madness event uh check out herowarscentral.com there is a new blog post there that's going to be continually updated as the week progresses with the different uh the different boss fights and the different situations the different screenshots that i take throughout the week so be sure to check that out every day uh, i love you all and good luck in dominion